G day people, this is Sharpina here, welcome you guys to episode number 41 of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you leave a down below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Guys, I do apologize for the lack of uploads for the last couple of days, but my room has gone through some changes as you can well, you can see this thing over here. It's now a new cupboard. It's got all some of my Pokemon stuff there. And it's got my Sharpino hat on the top there. Because we got new cupboards for my room here. So that's why I couldn't record for a couple days. So I do apologize for that. I appreciate your patience. But let's get into the episode. In the last episode, you guys, we did make our way over to um, Celadon City. Unfortunately, we got blindsided by a Focus Blast Tangrowth. And we lost the longest reigning member of my team. And it sucks. Real bad. And as someone pointed out in the comment section in the last episode, one of the the last member of the original six, the first six Pokemon in my team, is gone. Sad face emojis. But anyways, we're going to go ahead. We've got everyone trying to level 68. We are going to head up down to Fushia City to take on Janine, who is the poison type gym leader. Let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking out with today for you guys. So we've got Game Boy Luke the Fan Rotom, Chopper the Garchomp, Megatron, the Optimus Prime, of course, looking Metagross. KFC, that finger licking, chicken licking good KFC. Got Milk, the Mill Tank, the newest addition I decided to add to the last, in the last episode. Considering that we did get rid of one of our major fine type weaknesses, I figured we'd go ahead and add a classic Gen 2 favorite, which of course is Mill Tank. You know, the Pokemon we all raged at Whitney for for using Rollout, and Rollout apparently becoming the most powerful move in Gen 2. So a bit. Uh, so we've got Body Slam, Gen Headbutt, Curse, and Gyro Ball. Let me just fix that up there. But you know what? Curse and Gyro Ball would be a nice little niche mix. And then finally we have Panchito, the, uh, Panchito, the Ludicolo. That is the last Pokemon in our teams. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. And that has to be the weirdest transition ever. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> But we are already here in Fushi City. I figured we'd save us the trip. So we are here. Let's see here. Alright. So we are here. It's Invisible Wall Town over here. Ah yes, and I forgot. These are all Janine impersonators. So we just have to find the real one. You must be the real Janine, huh? Foo foo foo, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking, I'm the real deal. Janine of Fushy Gym, that's me. As I said before, thank you for helping me, both me and everyone who lives within Fushia City. But this is the gym, so I must be professional. Ahem, it's time for our battle. So you don't talk about getting right into the action, we're getting right into a gym battle. Versing off, facing off against leader Janine. And the first Pokemon she starts off thinking is, is an Ariados. And why are your Pokemon levels so low? Unless they were expecting us to do this gym first, then Celadon. Um, but otherwise, I miss Air Slash. Dude! I miss Air Slash. It's 95% accurate! Fuck off! Or even 90% even, but that's still bullshit! What the fuck? Even though Ariados really didn't do anything. So be it, but I'll be at that. But still, that's very frustrating. That's very frustrating. Toxic Craig is next. Okay, you don't like flying types, so I don't get what the point of saying in Toxic Craig was. Just asking for a friend. But Toxic Craig gets blown back too. God damn! Get flatlined, motherfucker. Get flatlined. Next up is Quillfish. Okay, we're getting intimidated. Oh no, but we're not special attacking, so who cares? Oh wait, I went for Air Slash, dude. Ah, oh, I should have gone for Discharge. Okay, hopefully you flinch. That will make up for my Air Slash miss. Nope, goes for Thunder Wave. Has Motor Drive? Uh, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna look this up. One second. Wait a second, wait a second. Did 
Does Ram think it murder drive? I'm just being that unaware of it. Apparently they've given it murder drive in this game. What? Oh fucking K. Um, okay, I apparently I haven't unless I'm just oblivious and I've just never looked at the ability of Random Fan, it has murder drive? Hell, I'm not gonna be disappointed about that. Alright, now we have Drapion, which could be a problem. Um I think Air Slash would do more, plus it could flinch, so let's do that. But I imagine Drapion's gonna be a bit more bulkier. And is that a citrus berry? It's a citrus berry. So that shows to me that this is the ace of the gym. Level 58 is the ace. What? <laughs> I think they really wanted us to do this gym first. That's why they made us go the long way around, but um... Heck, I mean this works the other way around. 125 to 61. Okay, now our defense keeps dropping. This is pissing me off. Okay, fuck this. I'm out of here. Um... I'm gonna bring in Garchomp as this uh, Drapion goes for the heal. See, I knew that was gonna happen, that's why I did that. Okay, so... Yeah, I have no idea what to think of this. We're gonna go for a little diggly dee, diggly dee, diggly dee. Diglet style. Drapion goes for crunch. Oh, but the fool was nowhere to be found! I'm here, bitches! Coming up from underground. Coming down from the underground! Boom! Drapion goes down. Drapion no like the ground. Oh no no, he no like the ground. Alright, so two Pokemon left. Next up is a Venomoth. Ah, oh, this is the ace. So why the hell did you have a fucking... Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Usually the ace in this game has a Citrus Berry. Yet, we have a Venomoth level 64 here. So what? item does this Venomoth have? I'm... Our speeds? Okay, that's the first thing. Our speeds. That's, uh... Okay. That's a thing. Wait a second. I forgot. They changed the typings of, um, of Venomoth in this game. I remember a couple, like, dec te like decades of episodes ago, I remember that they actually changed uh, Venomoth's typing. I think it's Bug Psychic, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. Um, that does over a hundred damage. Yeah, I can't risk a freaking uh, a crit or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Metagross. I can't risk a, a, a crit psyche killing my Garchomp or a high roll. So I'm gonna bring in Megatron here. And he gets a crit on my Metagross instead. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Gets the sleep powder. Oh, you fucking bitch. Can we not have this please? Can we just, can we just not? Wake up. Bug buzz. Uh oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no! Metagross! Fuck! Okay, bug buzz is coming through now. Fuck this. KFC, you gotta come in, boy. Giga Drain. Psychic. Sleep Powder. Giga Drain. Bug buzz. Okay, now we know what the moveset is. Flare Blitz this bitch. Out speed. How fast is this Venomoth? How fast is this Venomoth? KFC, no! How fast is Venomoth? It's not that fast. Blaziken should be faster for sure. And we just saw it had a citrus berry, so what the fuck? What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Like, dude, fuck off. Oh, Mill taking our speed, but apparently Blaziken's not fast enough to handle a fucking Venom. What the fuck? You take that paralysis, you fucking bitch. God damn. What the f- What the f- nah. What the f- nah. Okay, that bug- Okay, I don't mean to speed it up, but I'm getting a bit frustrated at this point because that was a bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Fucking KFC, motherfucker! What the fuck, dude? 
I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. How's how's a venom off that far? Let me just. I gotta look up some stats right now. One second, as I as we see this wheezing come in. I gotta check this. This is really aggravating me. This is really aggravating me. Venomoth. How fast is a Venomoth? There's no way Venomoth is faster than a freaking Blaziken, for fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, Venomoth's base speed is 90. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty fast. And Blaziken's... I'm just checking this up because this is really aggravating me that either I should have known this, or I just, because no one uses Venomoth, unless you're in like NU or whatever, and Blaziken has base 80. Huh. Huh. So it turns out that Blaziken normally would be our spared by Venomoth. Okay, well, that's, that's my bad then. Fuck. <laughs> okay, that still sucks, but still, that, that blows, dude. That, that fucking blows. What the fuck? So had I known, had I known that was the case, I probably would not have brought in... Um... I would not have brought in Blaziken, knowing that Venomoth would have speed. Okay, so let's go ahead now and... Okay, you are a little bit too low. And I don't know what this Weezing wants to do here. Uh, I'm going to use the first heal for this battle on... Well, first we'll use Mega Potion. We're going to use our first heal for this battle on Megatron to get it all healed up here. It goes for Thunderbolt. Okay, um, interesting choice of move, but again, that's why I decided to, 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 to heal first. Alright, so now let's bring in Megatron, which would outspeed Weezing, unless I'm mistaken about that too. Just don't paralyze me, please, just don't paralyze Actually, you know what, I prefer you paralyze me, because then I can't be freaking burnt. Uh, that was a crit. Uh, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms, uh. And that was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered because Weezing would not stand a chance against a, Me a Metagross that's eight levels above it. <sighs> so, so strong! Shut up, you! So, you have defeated my Koga, my father, and a member of... Member of the Elite Four to come here. No wonder you are strong. You've definitely won. Here's the Soul Badge. Take it. And we have the Soul Badge. You're so tough, I have a special gift. It's a Poison Jab, a powerful poison type move that may poison its victims. I'm going to really ha apply myself to improve my skills. I want to become much better than both my father and you. Say, do you want my number? I wouldn't mind another battle. And my response is nothing yet. Still goes through anyway. Cool. Whatevs. KF fucking C, god damn, is gone. <sighs> Lieutenant Surge, no, I don't want to hear about your Thunderbolts, okay? Leave me alone. Hand, ladies and gentlemen, that would make death number five, uh, death number four. No way, this is more than that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is death number 20 of this Let's Play. Oh my damn! Damn! All because I didn't know that Venomoth outsped Blaziken normally. Had I known that, would not have done that. But I thought, well, Blaziken's super fast, but it's like, nope, not fast enough. Venomoth is like, you're too slow. And speaking of you're too slow, <laughs> that Sonic movie uh, trailer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, now, where do we go from here? Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and pick up our Pikachu. And we can fly back to Celadon because off screen I did get some I did play some Voltorb Flip, because I love that game so much. Honestly, every game that could have Voltorb Flip in it, I would freaking rate it. Because I love Voltorb Flip. Okay, so let's fly back to Celadon City because I do have some um coins, so I can go ahead and swap it out for an actual encounter. And not that we're gonna use the Pokemon or anything, but I mean like, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and put the uh, 
this Pokemon back in the PC. Thanks, Pikachu. Thanks for chilling, but, uh, you know, we only need you to, to just glide us about. So, excuse me. Uh, let's, let's get back into it. Okay. Okay, so we've got coins. Let's go straight into the building. Welcome. We exchange your coins for fabulous prizes. Okay, so we have Tyrogue, Eevee, and Matank. Now, does it really matter which Pokemon we get? Not really, because we're just swapping it out for an encounter. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Okay, now with all the spare coins that we have, technical items. Double Team Psychic, Ingig Impact, Gyro Ball, Hidden Power. Okay, so we can't really afford the good ones. And items, uh, none that are like, I would be like, oh, I better get those. The only thing I could think of to get is maybe the Psychic. Okay, so what I think we'll do to wrap this episode up is we'll actually go ahead and do the last four eggs that we have here, up the top here, because we got more eggs sent by you guys. So thank you very guys for sending eggs. We've got more eggs, which is good. We can keep the encounters going, which is great. But now, since we've got these last four, and we have these four encounters left to replace, why don't we just go ahead and hatch these puppies? Because I just saw a puppy there. <laughs> okay, so replacing number one, which is the cloister, let's go ahead and hatch Steven. Oh, it's Steven! Oh, Steven! Alright, so, I mean, when I think Steven, I think of, obviously, uh, Beldum. So, again, unless it's just a generic name, we're going to go ahead and hatch these last four eggs, and I think we'll leave the next gym battle for the next episode, I do, I do dare say. I do declare. I do declare. And first one is... It's a Beldum! Well, thank you to whoever sent Beldum. We already have one, but you know what? I'm not going to say no to an encounter, so thank you very much. <gasps> Greatly appreciated. So we have good old Stefan. Stefan? Stefan. As a, a black version, the black, uh, black and white version. It's Stephen. It's Stefan. It's Stefan. Like the most generic character, and I actually misspelled it. Wow, I spelled it just like the character. <laughs> and we've just taken down that is a legal encounter. So I misspelled Stephen. So I'm sorry if you said Stephen, and I was built it as Stefan. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so. That's the first encounter, which is the Beldum. Okay, and that's Steven. Alright, now the next encounter is called Poseidon. And it has a King's Rock. So I'm genuinely curious to see what it is, because it's Poseidon. When you think Poseidon, you think the great, you know, the great waters and everything else. So, but when it comes to King's Rock though, that could be for an evolution, or it could be just for added flinch ability. Yes, I did make that word up, flinch ability. Um, the ability to flinch. That's what it is, flinch ability. Okay, so King's Rock. With that, who's it going to be? Is it going to be a Poliwag? Is it going to be something else? I don't know. Something that is royalty? Let's find out. So, it is a... Oh, the other Pokemon that requires Slowpoke. Oh... Oh wow, Poseidon for a Sloking? Really? Okay. I'm with you, big dog. I'm with you, I'm with you. Poseidon. For a Sloking. Alrighty then, buddy. And uh, as I do a bit of a go 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 glitch again. Alright, let's go ahead and check out uh, Poseidon the Slopo. Has a calm nature, so it's bulky, which is good. Uh, psychic, Quarter Pulse, Slack Off, and Future Sight. That looks legit, that does look legit, but just for the sake of uh, legalities, let's go ahead and make sure this is a legal slowpoke. As I get the moves pulled up here, okie dokie, okie dokie, okay, okay people, okay. Psychic is a level up move, Water Pulse is a level up move, Slack Off is a level up move, and Future Sight is... Uh, an egg move. So, Poseidon is a legal encounter. Hooray! So, let's go ahead and um, put our power Poseidon up with the rest of the party over there. Okay, next up we have Chestnut with a life orb. 
Chestnut, okay. Taking up wood. So something involving trees. So could it be a could it be a a, a Bonsley or a pseudo widow? But if it's a pseudo widow, then I can't technically accept it because it's not its basic form. Um, so chestnut, okay. Um, <laughs> very curious to see what it is. Um, what other Pokemon can you think of relating to trees? Um, no, I am drawing a blank right now. But anyway, guys, here we go. Chestnut. Chestnut will be a... Oh! See not. Okay, uh, okay, okay, I can take that. Chestnut. I like the name, actually. Chestnut's pretty cool, though. I've never had a, um... I don't think I've had a C dot. I think I've had a shift tree, but I don't think I've ever had a C dot. So, uh, chestnut. Hello, buddy. Let's go ahead and check out uh, chestnut over here. Adamant nature. Oh my god. What is this move set? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Sunny day explosion. Nasty plum quick attack. This is just a mind fuck Pokemon. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to make of this, dudes. My dudes, my d dog, diggity dogs. Fucking C dog, what the fuck? Is it legal? That's the only thing we have to check. Is it legal? Really? Okay, so Sunny Day and Explosion are both level up moves. I did not know that. I did not know that at all. And then we have Nasty Plot and Quick Attack are both egg moves. So Chestnut, the Sunny Day Exploding C Dot is legal. Um, I don't know what to do with that thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I want to keep that move set because like, I don't know. I mean, that's like um, a very, uh, very questionable move set to say the least. I mean, god damn. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Alright, and the last Pokemon we have here is Waifu with Choice Specs. Oh crap, I forget, I forget to take the items off the, the Pokemon. Whoops. Okay, so I should have probably been taking the items off, so my bad. Um, so I've got to get a King's Rock to fix up the Slowpack there, because that Slowpack does need the King's Rock. So I might just um, get one in there. But I, I, I should have actually have some spare King's Rock. So, wait, I just, let me just check my bag here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have... A King's Rock somewhere around here. King's Rock. King's Rock. King's Rock. Okay, I'll just add in the King's Rock, because, I mean, that person sent me that Pokemon with the King's Rock. I think one of them had leftovers, so, um, you know. I probably should have done that the first, though, so that's my mistake. My bad, guys. I made mistakes. My bad. I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect, but, you know, we are human beings. We all make mistakes. That's what makes us who we are. Alright, so Waifu is... I see where this is going. I see where this is going. <laughs> uh, guys, get your hands out of your pants, okay? <laughs> Alright, Waifu the rolls. Okay. Now this could have been Smoochum, and I'd be like, okay, but uh, uh, Ralts, yeah, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a Gardevoir. Okay, we've had a Ralts that was gonna be Gar Galate, now we've got a Gardevoir. Okay, so we've got Psychic, Carmine, Magic Leaf, and Willow. That all checks out, but we'll just double check just to make sure that is all good. This must have, this has to be like the fourth time I've checked Ralts' move set uh, for this Let's Play here, because I mean, so many people have sent Ralts, which is good, even though one of them was legal, like majorly illegal. Okay, so Psychic is a level up move. Calm Mind is a level up move. Magical Leaf I know is a level up move. That that's a that's a damn that's for damn sure. And Will O Wisp is an egg move. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, way through the Ralts is a legal encounter. So hip hip hooray. So. We're going to go ahead now and uh, get our Waifu Ralts over here and put you in the team over there. I don't ever want to add Waifu just because I've already got Metagross. So, but the thing I have noticed is that I do have I have some special attackers, but I've got a lot of physical attackers. So 
Whatever Pokemon I want to add next probably should be a uh, probably should be a um, a special attacker, just so I can have the um, even distribution of you know physical and special attackers. So that's just me. That's just the um, competitive guy inside of me saying that. So, um, but let's head over to Saffron City. I thought I was gonna wrap things up here, but you know what? We can actually get ourselves one more encounter, Route Seven. Encounter for Route Seven. Survey so says. It's Jigglypuff! It's Puff Jiggles. Alright, let's go for Thunder Wave. Double Edge. Okay. Well, at least now we know you can hurt yourself. Let's go for Ultra Ball. Okie dokie. So we call it Jigglypuff. Add to the decks. We're going to call you Eggy. We're going to call you Eggy. Uh, Professor Oak, hello. This is Professor Oak. You're moving along to an, at an incredible pace. You remind me of myself when I was younger. That's all? Dude, get out my phone calls! Fucking just tell me shit, man, come on. But we can actually do have time to hatch one more egg, and I think we'll go ahead and start on the new batch that we have over here. So let's go ahead and get the number random generator up, because before we thought we had only just four eggs, but now we got a fresh batch of eight eggs ready to go, sent in by you guys. So again, I do appreciate it. If you guys want to send eggs, link down below if you want to send eggs. I don't know if I'll be able to hatch all of them, because now we come to the end game. Um, you know, Avengers Endgame. We come to the Storm Silver Endgame here, so let's see how we go here. So number between one and eight, number is number seven. And that is the Gold Bears. Okay, Gold Bears, okay. So now I remember to take the items off. That's a, that's a good start. So we're going to go ahead and replace this uh, Jigglypuff encounter that we have for Route 7 for this uh, Gold Bears. Um... Something tells me I think I might know what it is, but you never know. You never know. Um, let's have a gander. One and seven, huh? One and eight. Number seven, Golbez. So, Golbez, I'm thinking Gomez, and it is a. It's a Zubat, which we have not had. And you know what? A lot of people would be disappointed in Zubat, but you know what? I'm not, and I'll tell you why. Because Crobat is GOAT. Because Crobat is a GOAT. Okay, so now we have ourselves a Golbez. I, I do like that. It's like the play on Gomez and Gol Golbat, Golbez. Golbez. Alright, so we have Golbez, the, Gol the Zubat. Let's go ahead and check out. Check it out. Let's check out Golbez. Okay, Adamant Nature, and it has Confuse Ray, Zen Headbutt, Brave Bird, Poison Fang. Whew, okay. That is a pretty powerful moveset. I mean, that's why, guys, Crobat can tear lives apart. I mean, you guys laugh and go, oh, Zubats are annoying. No. In the later game, Zubats are gone, so don't diss the gods. Okay. So, let us see here. Um... Poison Fang is a level up move. Brave Bird um, is a level is an egg move. Egg move. Egg move. Sorry. Um, Zen Headbutt is a egg move, and Confused Ray is a level up move. So Gold Bears the Zubat is a legal encounter. Okay. So let's go ahead and put uh, Gold Baz in the PC with the rest of the party. Um, thank you to Episode Gold Baz, much appreciated. I do appreciate the love from you guys here. We've almost got two boxes full of encounters. You know what? I think this will do us. I don't think we need to replace any more encounters. Like, we do, but I don't think we need any more eggs. I think we got enough. I think we got enough. We got two almost two boxes full of encounters. I think we got enough. So you know what? I think we'll be good. So. I mean, if you want to send eggs, you still can, but I don't know, like, you can send them in, I'll still hatch them to replace encounters, that's fine. If we don't have any eggs, I'll just leave them as spare encounters, and if we get eggs, then we replace them. But if not, it's okay. We're going to have two boxes full of encounters, guys. We're going to have two boxes full of Pokemon. I mean, that's crazy when you think about it. But ladies and gentlemen, that will be us for today. So, 
Hope that you guys enjoyed half the gym battle, half the day catching session. Hope that you guys did. But if you did, make sure you like button down below because as always, it's a great Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. We will go ahead and head into Saffron City where gym battle number six is upon us. And I, got, I, I, I honestly think, guys, level 70 is the way to go. I definitely think level 70 is the way to go. Because even though we talk on a gym leader that had weaker Pokemon, we are still losing Pokemon and it's pissing me off. And I hate losing Pokemon to stupid bullshit, okay? But today, technically it was my fault, because I should have known Blaziken would be activated by Venomoth, but because I don't see Venomoth often, I only see it in like Wi-Fi battles, I don't really take that into account, so... Sorry KFC, sorry to whoever's in KFC, I let you down. Oh, please forgive me, forgive me Hokage, forgive me, but, you know. Shit happens, that's life, pick yourself up, move along to bigger and better things. So guys, until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.